Greetings everyone, I am Western Ninja 11 and today we are going to be opening up this package here that I got today. What this package contains is free Urto items, two of which are for me and one of them is for a friend of mine, that being Sugramp of the Grace. So yeah, without further ado, let's crack it open. And here we have the free items out of the packaging, so let's take a look at them. First I'm going to start off with this guy right here. This is Tiger Moth. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if he was sentient in the show, if that's just kind of the name of the vehicle. I mean, I know he was sentient in the magazine stories, but that's about it from what I'm aware. His wheels can roll quite nicely, although this one appears to have a bit of a crack. I'm not entirely sure, it might be a crack. Yes, there's a crack in the wheel, that's not good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to glue that up. The other wheel seems fine though. Seems to be in relatively decent condition, thankfully his propeller is not broken off. He's a bit chipped up, but that's to be expected. I'm not entirely sure if he has a UK exclusive Virtual. Or maybe it was just a worldwide release, I'm really not sure. But either way, I'm glad to have him. Next up we have an Urdu Chinese Dragon. Unfortunately, this model does not have the flatbed that we've come with, which is definitely quite unfortunate. Oh well, I'm just glad to have the top piece of it at least. I'm pretty sure I'll find a flatbed for this eventually. It looks quite good. His mouth doesn't move, it's just one static piece, whereas the... Oh no, the take-along, on the take-along model, the head would move up and down, not the mouth. Yeah, it's a bit of an odd choice that it has wheels on the bottom. Because it's... I don't think the Chinese Dragon is supposed to have wheels on the bottom of it. Because it's supposed to be just one static piece that you just put on top of a flatbed and call it a day. So that's a bit of an odd thing about this whole model. But, oh well. Now the last item in the snot is of course this Urdu Du. And this is the item of these three that's going to be belonging to Sir Gramp of the Grace soon. Because he does not have an Urdu Duke. As you all know, Duke is his favorite character, which is why I got this for him. Because he does not have the Urdu version. And wants to collect every single piece of merchandise depicting Duke. Looking around this model, he's in pretty good condition actually. I mean he's a bit scuffed up on the bottom. His couplings are still there, it's not broken off. Does have some chipping on it, but that's to be expected of course. And I think it might be a little bit better than the one I have, I'm not entirely sure. I'll take a look after the video is over. Yeah, these pieces are not broken off either, these wheel arches and this tender which is neat. So yeah. He's going to be very happy when he obtains this duke. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of mine and I'll make sure to see you all next time. Goodbye.